Oh, this background though, that is just pure fabulousness. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Carrie and this is my channel, Kiwi Thief. Um, thanks for coming. I am go Today we're going to talk about why I shave all my hair off. So, basically, I don't know. I've got a really squeaky chair, sorry. I have really long hair, as you will see in my previous videos. So, I will sit picture here, here, everywhere. I'll just show a picture up on the screen. Okay, let's go to the beginning. I wanted to go on a mission trip with a church to Africa, but basically I couldn't go. So, I was really sad. I was like, Ugh. I was really sad. So, a few months later, a pastor got in touch with my dad and he was like, hey, we're going to Hungary. And I was like, that sounds really cool and my dad was like they're going to Hungary they've asked if you want to come and I was like yeah that'd be great but the only problem was the money it wasn't nearly as much as Africa but still it was a lot so well for me it was anyway um considering I don't have a job so right at my church I had this crazy idea that would be great to shave my head so basically what like how many times i'm gonna say so basically on my days okay well they oh. <laughs> i shaved my head to go there to raise money because i really wanted to go to hungary i really wanted to go and do a mission somewhere you know and so i asked my minister i was like hey, we need to raise money because my sister was going as well, so it doubled the cost. I was like, and we need to raise money to go to this place. Is it okay if I shave my head in front of the church? And he was like, wow, what? And he was like, yeah, you can shave your head in front of the church. But he was like, oh, and you should do your eyebrows. So you look looking like, I was like. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Choked on ombre. Oh. We booked the date. For me to get my hair shaved and everyone from the team going to Hungary they go to a completely different church like a church that my dad works with um because he's a youth worker and basically they were like what are you doing why are you shaving your hair what why would you do that so they were like ah oh. like but they were like if you'd like to do it do it so everything was cool and went to church and my dad shaved my hair in front of everyone but he used beard cutting scissor, like beard cutting shaver. Uh, I can't speak. So basically, it took half an hour. You know, the novelty wore off after like five minutes of everybody staring at me, and everybody eventually was just drinking tea and all that because they were like, "This is gonna take a while," which it did. Still, it was, it was so odd. I remember. I, I'll show you a picture of the first day. Weirdest feeling ever, and. I just remember it so well and I was so happy I was actually so happy but it was just crazy after that we went to Hungary we raised me and Chloe raised enough money after me shaving my head we raised over enough which was fantastic because we could give the rest to the mission and it was just amazing so we went to Hungary and we were teaching children English well I say children we thought it was children but it was actually uh, people aged 11 to 17 so kind of my age which is kind of weird but they're just so different there and I didn't understand a word of what they were saying they didn't understand a lot of what I was saying but you know it was so good to work with them and it was just really nice and it, I got to know a lot of the people even the translators because we had to have translators in the room so we were teaching them about Eng how to speak English a little bit and how to and teaching them about God but basically <laughs> we're teaching them English but I barely know how to speak English as you can tell every five minutes I am getting confused over my own words so a lot of the things were like hmm when you tried to tell them because they were like what are you actually saying and I was like you had to get everything translated and then the translator sometimes would be like what have you just said <laughs> it was just it was 
really good and the food was top quality the food a lot of people thought was odd and it was but it was amazing everything seemed to be deep fried and i loved that because i love deep fried food it is so good so yeah my trip to hungary and chloe's trip was amazing the outreach was good the outcome of it was just great because you know it was my first time going and i was really nervous but you know once I got into it, you kind of got into a routine and you just learn new things, you know, and it's just, oh, it's, and Hungary is beautiful. We went to Budapest one of the days in Budapest. Oh, it's so nice. So I don't regret cutting my hair at all because, you know, it's just hair, it's going to grow back, you know, and fair enough, it's a bit annoying at this stage because, you know, you wake up and look like Rod Stewart. But, you know, and David Bowie. But I don't regret it because I wouldn't have had that amazing experience without doing it. As well, it was really useful there because, you know, it's so warm. <laughs> I did not want to have hair there. But would I regret it at all? Absolutely not. It's the best, one of the best things I've ever done. Going to Hungary, shaving my head. I, it's, it was so good. I'd like to grow my hair long now, but... You know, obviously that'll take a few. And I'd like to colour it. So, that's why I shaved my head. And yeah, I just thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's really short, but I just wanted to show you why I shaved it. And, you know, just tell you about my experience in Hungary because it was one of the best experiences of my life, you know? And I've not been really out this country a lot, I think. The last time I was on a plane before Hungary it was when I was two years old. Even though I've been to France and that we've driven to France, I've not been on a plane so... And the plane ride was kind of scary because of turbulence and I was like... Because mm, I hadn't experienced it before and it was... You know how I explain it? It's like when you go up a roller coaster and you're waiting to go down and it's like... Do, 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 and you're just waiting for the plane to go like... Pfft, but it didn't do that so we're fine but uh, yeah so that was my experience <laughs> I'll show you my progress of my hair growth and afterwards and I really hope you like this video thank you so much for watching you guys are amazing thank you for subscribing and all the uh, all my subscribers you've been so great and I know I've not posted in a while which I keep saying but you know Things have just happened and things are all over the place, you know. So, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!